Well, today's the big day, the big eclipse day, <laughs> April the 8th or whatever, and, and I'm amazed driving around at all the people that have come here to Northern Maine and just seeing traffic like crazy. Um, like this, somehow this amazing event is happening and oh, you just can't miss it and whatever else. And there's something a lot more important that people miss all the time. So what's that? The fact that God was manifest in the flesh, came down in the form of a man, lived for 33 and a half years, and then he died on a cross at the hands of organized religion. And um, he died for your sins, died for my sins. And yet you tell these nuts out there, Jesus died for your sins. Oh, whatever, not interested. Hey, did you know that the, uh, there's going to be a solar eclipse? <gasps> where, where, where can I go? Can I, can I drive to another state? Can I go and camp out overnight? We had somebody out here on the road, camping out in their car, parked on the road for a solar eclipse. <laughs> uh, doesn't make any sense at all to me. Just a bunch of fanatics. And you know, you know when the thing it's about to happen, they're going to be cheering for it or something. You know, I, can, I can imagine the people, the, the ridiculous idiots that they are, and they'll be out there going, woo, yeah, woo. Like, who are you cheering? You know, <laughs> are you cheering the sun or the moon or the earth or what? But you know they will be. They'll be out there cheering. Oh, you just, oh man, this is, we'll make t-shirts and we'll remember this for the rest of our lives. Well, why don't you think about the, the one who created everything? He wants to have a personal relationship with you. Wrote about it in his word, the perfect word in the English speaking language, the King James Bible. Uh, you can get, come and get it for free. You don't have to travel anywhere. You don't have to even leave the comfort of your living room. Get in contact with God. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know about that. Solar eclipse, oh wow. Perfect example of people worshiping and serving the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Just had to make a quick video about it. We had to come back to our property here um, to get some things and, and whatever else. It's really warm right now out here. The snow is going to be melting quite a bit today. But it just blows my mind. People traveling from other states here. I mean, we're seeing license plates from Florida. Driving the whole way up to Maine. The people that were parked out here was Tennessee. Why would you drive the whole way up here, go all the, the whole way out of your life and whatever, oh, oh it's gonna be another 27 years or whatever until the next one. Wow, yeah. <laughs> Almost as bad as the nuts that uh, think that this is some kind of a prophetic thing or something for the body of Christ when it isn't. But uh, we won't get into that. I don't want to preach too much doctrine to some of the people out there because the time has come when they will not endure sound doctrine. You know what I mean. Uh, they'd rather look to signs in the heavens to try to prove things. So, just want to make a quick little rant video here just about how ridiculous it is. You know, so, just crazy. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Mm -hmm. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. The Bible talks about in the end times that knowledge would increase and that the uh, wicked wouldn't understand. They can have knowledge, but yet they don't understand what's really going on. A lot of people, they, they have a lot of knowledge, but they don't understand. But the wise, those who have been truly born again, we understand what's going on. We can look at all this idolatry and everything else and we say, yeah, I get it. So, <laughs> uh, just amazing. That will be it. See you in the next video.